All right, for number eight, in order to solve for x here, we got to get the x alone. In order to get the x alone, we must get the x outside of this log base 2 right here. So, we have lots of options. We can say 5x plus 7 and raise it to the 19th power, but um, that will probably take the rest of the day, and I don't want to do that. So, is there some kind of trick where I can get rid of this 19th power? Yes, we can write it in front of a log. Because it's inside of the log, we could write it in front of the log so that it says 19 times log base 2 of 5x plus 7. Okay, so after that, uh, we need to get the log alone so that we can then try to get this x out of the log. So to get this log alone, we're going to divide both sides by 19. So let's write that out. So we're going to divide that by 19 and that by 19. Okay, uh, we get log base 2 of 5x plus 7. And on this side, I don't know if 19, oh, it might go into 27. I think it does. Does it go into it three times? Let's see, I'm going to check. 19 <laughs> times 3, we have 3 times 9 is 7, 2, and then 3 times 1, we get 57. Oh, snap, I was right, that's cool. Okay, and then... Since we have the log alone, I like to think of this as doing an inverse operation. So to, my inverse operation is raise both sides to the base 2. Now both of these are exponents. When they're exponents like that, because they have the same bases on the left side, the log will pretty much cancels out with the base because they're inverse operations of each other. And then we have 5x plus 7 on the left side. On the right side, we have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And then we have to subtract 7 from both sides. So I subtract 7 there, subtract 7 there, and I get 5x equals uno. And then I divide both sides by 5. I get x equals 1 over 5. All right. Now, one thing we always have to make sure and do is check for extraneous solutions. Extraneous solutions are solutions that make the inside of a logarithm negative. Now, if I put 1, .5, or 1 over 5 in here, 1 over 5 times 5 is just 1, and then I add 7. That is not ever going to be negative, and so my answer checks out. It's cool. All right, let's look at 19. No, not 19. Number 9. All right, number 9. <clears throat> let's see. What can we do with number 9? Oh, snap. There's two logarithms right here. What are we supposed to do with that? Well, we got options, people. We got options. We can either move this log to the other side, or we can do the dividing thing. Because we're subtracting two logs that have the same bases, we can divide the things that are inside the logarithms. Let's try that. All right, let's see. Log, uh, and then we have x squared plus 7x plus 12, divided by, I don't like you, arrow, go away, uh, divided by x plus 4, and that equals zero. All right, so how do we get rid of that log now? How, how can we get all those x's out of the log? You could raise both sides to the base 10. Base 10, base 10. Why would you do that? Because this log right here has a base 10. You just didn't see the 10 because whenever we have base 10, we don't write it. All right, so what do we get now? This base 10 cancels out that log base 10, and we have x squared plus 7x plus plus 12 equals, what is 10 raised to the 0 power? I almost forgot my denominator here. 10 raised to the 0 power, anything raised to the 0 power is? Oh no. Always, always, always. Okay, then um, how can I uh, get rid of this fraction thingy? Yeah, let's do that. Let's multiply both sides by x plus 4. If I multiply both sides by x plus 4, peace. Oh, yay, it goes away. I love that. I love that. Okay, and then we get x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals your, mo I mean, uh, x plus 4. <clears throat> now, we have a quadratic. I can tell because there's a power right there of 2. So that means we have to make it equal to 0. So I'm going to move that x plus 4 back to the other side, but I'm not going to divide. I'm going to subtract. So if I subtract x right here, he would go away. And if I subtract 4 right here, he would go away. If I subtract x right here, then I would get 6x. Let's put that x squared right in front of him. And if I subtract 4 right here, I would get 8. Whoops. Plus 8. 
Now to solve. It looks like our job now is to factor. So let's factor this dude. 4 times 2x plus 4 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 times 2. <laughs> Very nice. 4 times 2 would give me an 8. And then if I add those, I get a 6. So x plus 4. And then x plus 2. And then I get um, my <coughs> answers. Uh, negative 4 and negative 2. Ooh, I'm wondering, are either of these extraneous solutions? I don't know, Mr. Beatty. Why don't you find out? Okay, I will. All right, let's look at um, this one that doesn't have very much happening inside of him because he looks very simple. If I plug a negative 2 into this one, we're good because negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. If I plug a negative 4 into this one, it's 0. Ooh, can we have a 0 inside of a log? Hmm. Let's make a log up and see. Uh, log of base 5 of 0 equals, I don't know. Let's see, what does this say? This says, uh, what power of 5 gives me 0? Let's see, what power of 5 would give me 0? Is there a power that would give me 0? No. So are we allowed to have a zero inside of a log? Yeah. No. We're not allowed to have a zero or a negative number. So therefore, no, number four, you're out. You are an extraneous solution. Okay, but now we have to test that negative two in this other log to make sure we're clear. What is negative two squared? Four. Uh, quattro, Mr. Patey. Oh, thank you, nerd voice. All right, what is... uh? 7 times negative 2. That would be negative 14. Then we have to add the 12 to it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so we have 4 plus 12. Those are the positive numbers. That would give me 16. If I subtract 14 from it, I get 2. And that's okay. We can have a positive 2 inside of our log. All right. What questions do you guys have? I did say there was another way to solve number 9. I'm not going to do it all the way, but I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to move this to the other side. You see how it's negative on the left side? If I add it to both sides, <clears throat> you don't have to write this, guys. You can just watch. Okay, I would get this. I would have log of x plus 4 on the right side, and on the left side, I would have log of x squared plus 7x plus 12. Um, I'm running out of space right here. Uh, plus 12. Alright, so next you would base 10 both sides, and these would cancel out, and these would cancel out. And look what we got. We got this equals this. That's the same thing as what we had before when we were solving it the other way.